Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. I'm out in the field with a 95 PTO horsepower International 856 tractor. This machine was manufactured at the company's Farmel plant located in Rock Island, Illinois from 1967 through 1971. The 856 was one of the early tractors from International Harvester to have a cab option available from the factory. This style cab was quickly nicknamed by many farmers when the tractor was new as the ice cream box cab. This cab is extremely crude by today's standards, but 50 years ago it was a pioneering endeavor. Here we can see an 856 tractor equipped with an International 234 corn picker and sheller attachment. The ice cream box style cab helps keep the operator out of the dust and dirt of the harvesting operation. When International introduced the 56 series line of Farmel tractors in 1967, a majority of the tractors sold at the time were offered as open station models without a cab. The ice cream box style cab was gaining popularity. Cabs on tractors did not become popular until 1971 with the release of the 66 series. In 1976, International introduced a new line of 86 series tractors with a vastly improved modern style cab. By 1982, with the release of the 88 series, cabs were all but standard on big row crop tractors from International Harvester. By 1987, with the release of the Magnum series of tractors, the modern day cab had become fully realized and it was an expectation of farmers. It's very interesting to see how quickly the cabs had developed in a 30-year period from a time when farmers did not want a cab and saw it as a luxury to a time period where it was a standard feature. This early style cab was little more than a shell of steel and glass, but it did help protect farmers from dust, wind, rain, and sun. Farmers and international harvester dealers nicknamed it the ice cream box cab because it best described its features. This cab resembles an ice cream box from the 1960s. It's white like the inside and outside of this classic style ice cream box. The doors of the cab fold up like the end flaps of an ice cream box, and it's just about as spacious as sitting inside an ice cream box. One way this cab was not like an ice cream box is it did not keep the operator cold in the summer. It was extremely hot to sit inside this cab, and the doors had to be left wide open to let a breeze inside. Even though the ice cream box style cab does not offer a lot of creature comforts, it did begin to raise the expectations of farmers looking at buying a new tractor and wanting to have a cab to be inside of and out of the elements.
I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field with this International 856 tractor equipped with the ice cream box style cab. Has your farming operation used an international tractor with this style cab or another brand of tractor with an early style cab from the 1960s? I'd like to hear about it in the comment section below this video. And if you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching. 